Hi, I'm Hari Krishna Menon. I'm a program manager in the Blend Function Studio team and the BS Xamarin designer. The first part of my blog post details changing the background of the Condor Circle Book application. First, I'm going to search for image control in the toolbox. Then we'll draw it onto the artboard. Unfortunately, I drew it on the page title grid and I would like to move it into the root grid. So I'm going to open document outline, select the image control and move it to the root grid. Then I'm going to move this particular control to the bottom of my page. As I want this control to take a fixed height and the size of the application, I'm going to set its horizontal alignment to stretch and its vertical alignment to bottom. Uh, because I drew this particular control, you can see that the designer inserted width to it. I'm going to reset that for now, as well as reset the margin. You can now see that the image control takes a width of the application. I'm going to go to the source property and set the image control to the image I've already added to my project. I'm going to open the combo box and select untitled.png. You can now see the image is now showing on the designer. Uh, because I want the image to take the size of the control, I can use the stretch property and set it to uniform to fill. I'm going to change the height of the height of the image control so that it shows all its content. So I'm going to set it to 150. The second part of this particular video, I'm going to show you how to use the blend color editors. I want my background of this application to blend into my background image. So I'm going to select the root grid, select the brush property, and say edit resource on the background property. The color editor in blend has three tabs to it. The first one helps you set a solid color as a background brush. The second tab allows you to set a gradient. And the third tab lets you set the image as a background. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use the linear gradient brush. I'm going to select the linear gradient brush. You can see there is a color picker here. It shows the various gradients. Uh, it shows you the offset of the gradient. You can also use this button to reverse your gradient. You can also change the transparency of a brush by modifying the alpha value. What I'm going to do is select the gradient eyedropper, drag it to my background image, I'm going to set it. You can now see that my background basically melted onto my image control. And I'm going to select OK. That's it. It's that easy to customize your backgrounds using XAML tooling.